Hello guys, it's Darkbreaker and today I'm going to explain to you guys how to play top lane. And we are playing as a Lubu. He's a pretty strong one with one champion and you have to abuse this fact to either kill your opponent one with one and then go to the opponent's jungle or just you you just your your goal is to create pressure on at the top lane so that you force other opponents to help to help the top laner so that you so that your teammates can get other objectives top laner is uh, at the top lane it's really important to to consider where the opponent's jungle is, you should try to get the birds that give you vision and thanks to the vision you can anticipate to where the opponent's jungle is and because of that you know when you can go aggressive on the opponent. And of course you should try to get as many camps as possible from the opponent so that he gets behind. Uh, or should I say the the opponent's jungle gets behind while you get a lead, a lead against uh, the opponent's top laner. Now I see Zuka roamed uh, to the team fight already and I was uh, too late there and so I am trying to push the lane and then go for objectives that they are missing. So they got some kills because Suka came, but I'm getting the mini drag now, which gives global gold. And now I'm trying to get the red buff, which uh, makes the opponent fall behind too. The opponent struggle, he loses XP, and I get this buff. And I, oh, am I diving him or am I not? I think I'm, I should have dived him there. Now that I watch it, I should have dived him. Or, oh, his mistake is that he still stayed and now I'm diving him. So always try so the, the main goal is obviously to win your lane, but if you can zone your opponent, you can try to get other objectives like the bird, bird first. So you can use that to see where the uh, jungler could be or where are openings to go into the opponent's jungle and try to steal stuff. And obviously, when you're pushing the lane, you should try to roam to other lanes and get ganks off too. And again, I'm, I'm always trying to do the opponent's jungle whenever the, I see an opening. And that's basically your job as a top laner. And since you are the top laner and you're playing a bruiser most of the time, your job is in team fights to engage onto the back line and so it's important to get fat enough that you just go right into the back line and here I just see Talanas she's out of position and we can just pick her off for free obviously trying to get the opponent's red buff again I'm already level 7 thanks uh, of um, thanks to the jungle item and the jungle camps that I stole already and you have to abuse the fact that the jungle item gives you more XP. So if you go counter jungle, you get even more XP thanks to that. And right there, I was fighting 1 vs 3, but my teammates are getting a, a kill at the bot lane and the dragon. So that's important. Create pressure that forces the opponent 
to help your uh, opponent's top liner out so that they can get other objectives. Or you use the top laner as a split pusher. You see, you are very strong. You are stronger than the opponent's uh, uh, top laner. So you just stay top lane and try to push as many towers as possible. And thanks to that, you create more team gold and more map pressure. And usually, if you are stronger than the opponent's uh, top laner, you can force others to the top two, and then you create even more op uh, even more space for the others. Yeah, I would I would say the most important thing is for every for any role to always roam whenever it's possible, try to help your teammates out, try to force um, objectives if possible, create pressure, Cre uh, make the opponent fall behind by stealing the, the stuff, because stealing stuff gives you additional gold, additional XP, and the opponent loses that, so the snowball effect is greater by stealing stuff. Right now we are going to steal the blue buff. Once again, they get even less gold, even less XP. Getting another objective for the team. I see they are forcing a fight, so I'm trying to help them now. Trying to see if I can engage into into them. The Zuka is out of position. We can get them. I see they are they are out of position. I jump in. The other are following up, are following up, and we both uh, we can kill them both. At the meantime. The Zil uh, stole the red buff, which is pretty good for us. We still won the uh, exchange, or the skirmish, should I say. And mean meanwhile, the Zil uh, pushed the top lane and stole their stuff. So that's important. If you are alone, you always have to do other objectives in the meantime. I mean, if we are for, uh, fighting a fight, 4 versus 5, the other one who is free, he has to either push, get any objectives uh, if possible, so that even if your team loses the team fight, they still get something out of it. I mean, if they are doing 4 versus 5, they trade, uh, I mean, 3 are dying in our team and the others uh, are losing 3 too, but you get two towers at the top lane. It's still worth it because they get still more, uh, still more global gold. But you have to consider when it's the best to roam and join the fight, or when it's better to just push. Uh, just push the top lane out. When you see we are in a lead, you should just go split pushing. But if you see well, your teammates are struggling, you should always try to help them out.
now we're trying to push the bot wave the others are pressuring the mid tower and I would say we're trying to steal the blue buff we're trying to steal the blue buff now and now the others are pinging Dark Slayer which is a good call since we created enough enough pressure and our Necroft is AFK okay now he's back I'm trying to help the others now and we get the Dark Slayer for free so it's it's much easier to force the Dark Slayer when you created enough map openings due to mm, killing all the towers so the others are scared to um, check the Dark Slayer since they know there is a possibility that we catch them off guard or we just turn on them while doing the Dark Slayer either we are trapping them at the bush ne right next to the mini drake or we just stop the Nash and we just go uh, for them and you can see we still have all our towers we have so much we created so much map opening while they can't do anything and now I'm just diving to Lanas. I'm Lubu, I'm fat as fuck and for our death and we are going to finish this game now so what are the import what are the most important things that you have to consider as a top laner I will summarize this now for you obviously your one versus one has to be top notch basically on the uh, on the best top laners and you should always know the skills and cooldowns of your opponent try to steal the stuff if possible try to roam as much as possible and in team fights engage into the backline when you are fat and as a top laner it's also important to know when you can split push or when you should join the team fight so that's it and i hope you guys learned some new stuff and i also hope you enjoyed this video see ya